Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Houston Astros. First pitch coming at you right after the break. 2022 Houston Astros. So just about set. Here's the veteran shortstop, Tim Anderson. The 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. The 1-2. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Luis Robert now. The pitch. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Righty to the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Popped in the air. Left field. Brantley makes the grab. That's out number two. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Jose Abreu up to hit. Two outs. They say it went. One and two. The count. One and two here. And downstairs. Two two now. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Of the first and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to the right side. Harrison picks it up, fires over to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. The one two. That's down and in. One down, base is empty. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. And now it's Alex Bregman. <laughs> on the ground to third. Inning over. Second inning set to go. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Yoan Moncada. And here it comes. There's a strike. That one that missed. Hits, the 2 The two-two. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Hot shot to third. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Up the middle, throws to first, out number three.
bottom half of inning number two. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Next pitch is inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Righty delivers. And that one missing low. But why to kick the pitch? And now it's filled up. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Now it's Yuli Guriel. Rudder takes off. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Here's Kyle Tucker. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. The throws offline. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Strike two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. He makes the throw, but it's not in time. And he reaches safely. The pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Grabs it on the run. And there's one away. Jeremy Pena now at the plate. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And a 1-1. There's a swing and a miss. Guriel at third. Tucker over at second with one down. Next offering upstairs. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. To the right side, Harrison over to pick it up. Gets it to first. Rudder scores, though. That's a little insurance, and the lead is two. Martin Maldonado up to hit. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Line drive to short and caught. Of the third inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, A.J. Pollock. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. At the play. Gavin Sheets. Well, I'll say this. As a former position player and base stealer, when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. And the 2-2. Two -two. And that one a little bit high. Full count. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. And forget it. Gavin Sheets goes deep. And they cut into the lead. It's 2-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. And 
here is Josh Harrison. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And, and a count, count one and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. A towering home run. And we're all square. It's 2-2. So the batting order turns over. Here's Tim Anderson. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a miss. Next one just misses. The count now two and two. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. If I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Tied up here in the early going. The next offering misses, and the count's full. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Verlander moved to first. Anderson dives back. Next one misses two and one. High chopper to third. Bregman to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Jose Abreu steps to the plate for the White Sox. The next pitch misses. And it's two and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That misses. And a full count now. Out to center. McCormick under it. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Anderson, the lead runner at second. Robert on at first with two down. Next offering is down low. And a count two and one. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. They take the force out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The pitch. That one ran no, inside, no almost got him. And there's a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. Jose Altuve will touch them all. And that gives him a lead. It's 3-2. Here's Michael Brantley. Line drive, base hit. Now it's Alex Bregman. He's over one. Brantley goes. Swing and a miss. One ball, two Throw. Tag. Out. 
Beltran down with a quick release. A wind in the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the pitch. Bregman started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Nope, he held back. 2-2. Two -two. That's a ball. Full count. It's softly on the ground to third. Whips it across. And they get Bregman for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, your Don Alvarez. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. That one down the line, and that squirts through. And that's going to kick into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Left field. Jimenez makes the catch, and that'll do it. to the fourth Aloy Jimenez now and he deals foul ball there he needs a quick one two three this time around last inning through a lot of pitches and a swing and a miss that's the first out in the top of the fourth and now up to the plate Yasmani Grandal Left-hand batter waits, and he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Here's a 1-1. And there's a ball. Two one now. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swang and a high fly ball in the air, left field. Back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they jump out front. It's 4-3. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Bases empty, one away. Now it's the DH, Gavin Sheets. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 5-3. One out, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. Next offering misses. Two and one. Line drive. That's a hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he beats it. He's safe. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Going to count one and two. Harrison leads off second with one gone in the inning. Chases in the dirt. Slider there. Maldonado to first. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two out, 
And he chases that one. Good job at damage control right there. here in Houston bottom of the fourth and stepping in for the Astros Kyle Tucker well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot Chaz McCormick will hit next Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. In the air, right field. Pollock pulls that one down, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Jeremy Pena. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Moncada handles the chance, whips it to first, and the Astros put down in order. Back here at Minute Maid Park, ready now for the fifth inning, and now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Now this is blasted way back there on its way gone. Jose Abreu goes deep and they tack one on the board. It's six three. New pitcher on here, Christian Javier. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here is Moncada, the 1-1. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Rip, but it curls foul. And down on strikes. One gone here. Here's the left fielder, Eloy Jimenez. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two away down. Two outs, bases empty. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Next pitch misses way outside. Two down, nobody on. Three one. Clips the corner. Now three and two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And the right hander deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Next offering is fouled back. Right-handed reliever. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That was a moonshot, and they add on. It's 7-3. Base is empty with two away. And now the right fielder, A.J. Pollock. One for two. Next offering is down low. Righty to the plate. Got him looking. Third out.
bottom of the inning. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. Next pitch misses. Ball two. And another ball. And there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Good contact guy, good defender. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one off the outside edge. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, two ball. Steps on the bag for one. Relay to first, double play. Michael Brantley stands in. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout to face three, four, five next inning. 2-2 two -two now. Out there to center. Robert makes the catch, and that'll do it. Top of the sixth inning, and now the DH, Gavin Sheets. Next pitch is downstairs. There's a strike. Got a full count. And a pitch. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Here comes a 3-2. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So up next, Josh Harrison. The pitch. Clips the inside corner. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's outside. That's a ball. 2-2 two, two now. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. Back to work. 3-2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. And next to hit for the Sox, Tim Anderson. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The pitch ripped on the ground a second tosses to first and yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out that ends the frame well we go bottom six now here is Alex Bregman the 2-1 just missed. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Rip towards third. Moncada tossed to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. The 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Pollock makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now the number two hitter, Luis Robert.
Next pitch Double off ball. the play. Two and one. Two one. And here it comes. Foul ball. Here's the two two. On the ground to third. Slings it across, and they take care of Robert for the out. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. He's already homered in this game. And the righty deals. That misses, and that's ball three. Three balls, one strike. Out towards right center field. Brings it in, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Yoan Moncada. Here's a 1-1. And fouled off. 1-2 now. And the 1-2 no, no, misses to even the count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. On the ground. Del Tuve handles it. On to first, and that is that. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Ronaldo Lopez. And he'll work on holding this lead. Ronaldo Lopez. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. Got him. One out. Chaz McCormick getting ready to hit. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals. And that's ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there. And that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And there's two down. Man at first. And next to hit for Houston, Martin Maldonado. He's 0 for 1. Maldonado. Swing and a miss. 1 and 2. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Harrison fires over to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Phil Maton. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth, and here is Aloy Jimenez. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's some real power at the plate. Yasmani Grandal. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. pitch 
That smash towards center. Two up, two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Two outs, base is empty. A.J. Pollock steps to the plate for the White Sox. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Two and one's the count. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. McCormick gets under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Back here in Houston, bottom of the eighth. Now, Jose Altuve. Now all even up. Next offering is outside. 3-2 now. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Grandal has this one sized up and puts the squeeze on that. One away. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. Now Michael Brantley steps in. 1-1 one, one now. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Didn't quite have enough. Here's Alex Bregman. Third baseman, number two. Alex. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Alex Bregman sends it out, and they slice into the lead. It's 7-4. New pitcher for the White Sox, Aaron Bummer, trying to protect this lead. So here's the cleanup hitter, your Don Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And down on strikes. That's the third out. Inning over. Here at Minute Maid Park. Now it's the DH, Gavin Sheets. Right handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Not even close there. It's two and two. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Josh Harrison steps to the plate for the White Sox. Hit weakly on the ground. On the run, throw to first. Two up, two down. Tim Anderson steps to the plate for the White Sox. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that. Throwing the ball well there, and they need 
eighth of scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that'll do it. And Liam Hendricks will take over on the mound. Hard-throwing Australian. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And stepping in for the Astros, Yuli Gurriel. Right-hander kicks, deals. And down on strikes goes Gurriel. And that's the first out. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker, for the fourth time tonight. And the pitch. So now one and two. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Here comes the pitch. And yeah. down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. The 1-1. One, one. Base knock right field. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Now it's going to be Jeremy Pena on the ground at first. And base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. So they're down to their final out. And now, Martin Maldonado. Ground ball right side. On the first ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. score tonight first for the victorious White Sox seven runs eight hits one error they left three men on base for the Astros four runs seven hits no errors they left five men on base time at the ball game three hours and 29 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please drive home safely